Angry families of missing Russian soldiers defy Putin. Since President Vladimir Putin invaded Ukraine, the Russian Federation has sent hundreds of thousands of Russians to battlefields that have become charnel houses. Now the mothers and wives of Russian military personnel, whose fate is unknown, have become some of the most vocal critics of Russia's war effort, thus publicly challenging Putin and the authoritarian system he has built, writes the Wall Street Journal. Grief and anger are intensified by the Russian government's lack of transparency regarding soldiers who are missing or presumed dead. Groups have emerged on Russian social media with tens of thousands of relatives and friends of missing soldiers sharing information in hopes of finding out what happened, the publication says. All this casts doubt on the Kremlin's claims that Russians support the war in Ukraine and are ready to sacrifice their loved ones for it. While the tensions do not yet pose a serious threat to Putin, they could eventually develop into wider dissent. The Kremlin has banned domestic coverage of the war and is not reporting any official data on the soldiers missing in action. The last time the Russian Defense Ministry provided public data on the number of its soldiers killed in Ukraine in September 2022, when it was reported that 5,937 people were killed. The US estimates that more than 300,000 Russian troops were wounded or killed, the Wall Street Journal writes. Sergei Krivenko, head of the Russian human rights organization Citizen.Army.Pravo, which advocates for the interests of Russian soldiers, said the military is not prepared for such a volume of losses and does not have special units responsible for evacuating fallen soldiers from the battlefield. There is also an opinion that dead fighters are abandoned so as not to pay compensation to their families. The Russians' sneaky tactics the Times learned important details about the strikes on Kharkiv. Russia has recently intensified attacks against Kharkiv using missiles, glide bombs and drones to destroy energy infrastructure and kill civilians. So a full-scale war is ongoing in Ukraine and Kharkiv, which is located just over 20 kilometers from the border with the Russian Federation, is often under attack, including from Russian Shahed-type kamikaze drones. The enemy is conducting a disinformation campaign aimed at teams of sappers who are supposed to neutralize the Shaheds, the warhead of which did not explode, writes the British newspaper The Times. The officer of the sapper group, 28-year-old Captain Maxim Tomko, said that the sappers are in constant tension. We never know whether the unexploded suicide drone we are trying to disarm exploded due to a malfunction or because the Russians set it up to kill our sappers. As they claim on their television programs and telegram posts, the warrior said. Journalists noted that Kharkiv is protected from drones by machine gun units traveling in pickup trucks. According to them, over the course of the year, Ukrainian defenders shot down from 30 to 50 enemy killer drones that attacked the regional center. As we adapted our tactics, so did the Russians adapt theirs. If earlier Shahed drones flew against us in a straight line at an altitude of less than a kilometer, now they fly at an altitude of almost two kilometers. Without proper air defense, it is becoming increasingly difficult to shoot them down, said the commander of the 302nd Anti-Aircraft Brigade, Lieutenant Colonel Alexander Kozlov. The occupiers have already hit the regional center many times with drones and missiles, there are many casualties, injuries and destruction. In addition, the Russian Federation is dispersing information about an alleged attack on Kharkiv and the capture of the city. In Ukraine, they called it an information psychological operation. Ukrainian new effective kamikaze aircraft came as a surprise to the Russians at the front. In addition to FPV drones, 
the Ukrainian defense forces began to use kamikaze aircraft against the armed forces of the Russian Federation. Oles Malyarevich, the deputy commander of the Achilles Shock UAV Battalion of the 92nd Air Assault Brigade, speaks about it in an interview with Channel 24. He noted that powerful, long-range kamikaze aircraft are used for attacks on the territory of Russia. In return, the troops at the front use small kamikaze aircraft to clear the territory from enemy air targets within a radius of up to 20 kilometers. Such devices cost about the same as FPD drones or a little more expensive. At the same time, they sometimes turn out to be more accurate and reliable. A very interesting and effective weapon. You always understand what the goal is, what the situation is with the enemy's electronic warfare and decide to apply something, either a kamikaze aircraft or an FPV. This is just one of the additional funds that has appeared at our disposal, he explained. Oles Malyarevich noted that drones are produced in Ukraine and the troops have the opportunity to directly contact engineers to improve the technology. The invaders are trying to intercept data on these devices and strive to make them ineffective, so the devices need to be constantly improved. This is a war of technology. That is, there is no time to relax here, the military said. Recall that on April the 26th, the Russian Federation showed a photo of an unmanned kamikaze aircraft, with the help of which it is claimed the Ukrainian defense forces struck at Russian territory. According to the OSINT analyst, the device is a modified light aircraft Sky Ranger Ninja.